So I bought this clock at Savers for $5.49. Seriously, why do they have to put the sticker on the front? You could put it anywhere else but the front. Luckily, we're not using the glass, but I still have this weird compulsion to peel the sticker. Do you get that way too? I love peeling stickers. Anyways, I thought this clock would be perfect for an Alice in Wonderland scene. And since I can't freehand a spiral, I cut a template out and I'm gluing it to the back of my clock. I started to paint it, but it wasn't showing up very well. So then I just used spray paint. Oh yeah, do you see that transition? You're getting very sleepy and you'll like my video. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Okay, so I painted it purple and then pink and then I covered up all the purple with some green because my art planning skills are terrible. Look, I don't plan my art out ahead of time. It just happens. So since this is Alice in Wonderland, we're gonna need mushrooms, obviously. And if you know me, you know I like a mushroom. And my first idea was to make them glow in the dark with this powder, but it doesn't really show up. So I end up just painting over it. Next, my clock hole could use some love. So I'm just adding some leaves around the rim. Look how satisfying this is. Oh yeah, that looks good. Now I just rub it down with some white powder. It gives it a nice shimmer. So I have these centerpieces that I made for my wedding years ago. You know, back when mason jars were super popular. I mean, are you really surprised that I hoarded the jars for my wedding? Look, there's little lights in them and I can reuse the lights because it's really dark in my clock hole and I need my clock hole to be lit. And then I added some plants around the edges. Okay, now that our hole is nice and planty, can you guess what I'm making? No, it's not a shrimp. Although it really looks like a shrimp. But look, I'm adding arms. Shrimp don't have, well, they do have arms. But it's a caterpillar. There's no shrimp in Alice in Wonderland. Come on. Oh, look how cute he is. Okay, but he needs a little hookah thing. Isn't it weird the amount of drug use in Alice in Wonderland for a kid's book? I mean, I get it. It was a different time, but still. Oh, oh, hold on. Check this out. I'm using the backs of earrings for the top and the little side straw thing. I don't know what it's called. I've never seen one of these in real life. I don't even know if this is accurate, but I'm pretty sure it's close enough. And then I glued the little straw part and there's our caterpillar. Okay, so the top I was gonna make like clouds with this fuzzy stuff, but it kind of looked cheap and fake. So I took it out. And I'm just gonna add moss all around the hole, but it's getting a little too mossy in there, if you know what I mean. So I'll just mix it up with a little variety of plants. And then we're gonna need a table. So I made this one out of wood and clay, but our table can't be empty, that'd be boring. Luckily, I have these teacups from the last Alice project I did. And look at the little tea container and the little teaspoon, look at it. Ooh, our clock needs a clock. You're getting very sleepy. You're gonna press the follow button. Oh, that was weird. I don't know why that keeps happening. Anyway, so now that our table's nice and cluttered because who has a clean table? I just added into the clock. Okay, my favorite character from Alice is the Cheshire Cat. And look, it's a seahorse. Nay, or whatever seahorses say. Just kidding, it's gonna be a Cheshire Cat, watch. Dear sir, your eyes are too big. I know cat eyes would be better here, but I ran out of cat eyes. So we're just going with creepy human eyes. And apparently creepy is the theme for this cat because you just wait, it gets creepier. Look at that face. It's like staring into your soul. Oh, creepy. I'm just adding them to the top. And here it says, whoops, get back up here. As I was saying, here's his body. And there's Emily being a nuisance. So these teeth aren't helping this cat be any less creepy, but you know, the Cheshire cat's kind of creepy anyway, so it kind of works. And then I just slathered him in paint and added a little hat because he's a sophisticated kitty. And then here's the finished product. Ooh, check out these lights. And then here's what it looks like in the black light, which I think is my favorite. And then in the dark, what do you guys think? 